Hi guys, this tutorial is going to be a little bit kind of an add-on to the first one where we were first talking about how to use a script hook as a guide. This is going to give you a little bit more example about how to use it in-game with the actual other natives and the files that actually allow you to do more different things. And to kind of explain that, what we'll do first is we'll go over here to uh, scriptingdirty.h. Hopefully you can see this in the left hand corner. You just, um, if you look up here, you actually just look for script hook. Once you have it installed, look for header files and it's right under there. Just double click it. As usual, it'll populate here at the top. And actually, what these actually are, these are actually natives that are not yet, while they're in the game, they're not actually how could I say it? They're not actually, they're, they can be used, but they're not actually set up. Like if you go here, for example, in scripting, a lot of these are already initialized, like there's pad, pad, b8, and a lot of these already have the, the arguments for them. But if you go over here to scripted dirty, all you see is script any, script any. This means they haven't yet been defined. So if you want to be able to define your own natives, and you want to be able to find other natives, they're usually being here. Like for example, the set drunk cam, if you wanted to make the player drunk, you would actually go in here. And I, if I look at this, I can almost tell, but because there's two arguments, I mean, there's two different variables to this one and this one, which again, this is the instance of this class, instantiation it's known as. The script any would actually become ped, for example, if you had to type in ped here. And then this would be the second part of the ped. Remember, you gotta have the two with each other. And these ones you could almost guess at, but if you want more help, here's a kind of a, something else I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna copy this. And actually I'm gonna I've got a web page pulled up here that I wanted to show you. It's um GTA modding.com. Basically I have this um kind of already set up inside the game, so let me kind of go back to the main page here. Just to kind of start over here. If for example you were just typing it in for the first time. And do that and hit enter. Okay, it'll take you to the main page, and here you can see um, where they have all the knowledge related in one convenient place for GTA. This also includes all the other GTA versions that came out before this one, like 3, um, San Andreas, and all the other ones that were made up of Grand Theft Auto series. So, what I do here is when I want to learn something, getting back to where we were earlier for the set drug cam, you would go to this page, this is the main page, and you would click over here, version specific. So these are actually shown all the versions, and here they actually are from Vice City and so on. You would click on Grand Theft Auto 4 if you're using 4. In my example, I'm using Grand Theft Auto 4, so I would click on 4. And then you would scroll down. And this is kind of showing you, this is a little bit more advanced page, but these are actually hash values and stuff you can use inside the game for different things. These are actually objects and I might explain that in other videos but I won't go into detail with that on this one. Instead what we're looking for is the L category list of native functions. You would click on that and this would actually show you all the functions in the game. Notice earlier we had back here this native set drunk camp so we're going to look for it. We're going to actually go up here to click on S and then scroll down for set drunk cam in the list, which this is kind of long. There's a lot of stuff in here. So let's see, it's right here. Actually, you would click on it. And right now, there's no text on this page, but if you click on some of the other ones, they are actually defined, but not all of them are yet defined. So it's still under, it's still under construction, so to speak. Um, trying to find one sometimes would be the, the challenge of everything. So if you keep clicking on them, eventually you might find something. Like here's, for example, set fake one at level. This actually shows the first parameter, which remember the parameters are the things over here, over to the side. So these are the parameters, also known as the arguments. Some people might just call them parameters. And parameters is one, so basically they're only having one parameter in, in this. So the set fake one at level has one. And it just shows them the kind of parameter is it's an integer, which remember the integers are not the characters, but they're the numbers, and they're not the decimals. And, and it just shows some of the, the, the parameters, what the each one do. So if you put in from 0 to 6, this shows you what will actually supposed to be occurring. They've done a lot of research on this, so it does different things for different natives. This is just one example. But as I go to build my mod, I go through here and I find a lot of stuff that's not even in-game. Like, for example, if you ever seen a video, which I had one pulled up earlier, where 
Nico could get shoot the gun at like an object, a car, or whatever, and it would go flying out of existence. You know, just go flying up in the sky. And that's usually because they're using natives, probably not even defined in the script book itself. But that kind of gives you an idea of what you to do. When you do is when you get a, um, an actual native, you would copy the one you want to use. I'm going to use this one as an example, but I've used this before and I've had some trouble with this one. But just as an example, copy it. Remember scripting.h, that was our other file we had from before. And I got these categorized by section. I have them by vehicle. I'm networking, miscellaneous object, character. So in this example, because it's a character, I would just, um, and actually character is the pet, so I would put it under the player, which you see there's a lot of stuff here under the player. Actually, wait. No, that's, that's the other example. Miscellaneous native. Mine's probably up here somewhere. I think mine is under the character here. I only have one under here under character, so I'm just going to go ahead and put that over here then. I thought that was my example, but that wasn't okay. This is the actual example of the game, but I have mine own set up here separately. So I can keep track of the natives I use already in my mod, which is a good idea too. You kind of know what you're already using. You don't have to go through and say, which one did I use and which one didn't I use. So everything from here on up, these are all the mods that I actually, I'm sorry, these are all the natives that I actually used already from there to there. So, anyways, we've got just set drunk cannon. We're going to set this up in the game.